Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario Party playthrough. I'm uh, going to be doing another board of Partner Party today. I'm uh, going to be taking on the uh, Mega Fruit Paradise board, which uh, I think it's called Watermelon Walkaway in this one, or Watermelon Walkway, something of that nature. Or Watermelon Walkabout, sorry. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing this board this time, not the Gold Rush Mine. If my Joy-Con would stop drifting... Okay, you done? Thank you. Once again, 15 turns, and uh, I'm actually going to be teaming up with Diddy Kong on this one. I said Diddy Kong, not Luigi. I said Diddy K Oh my god, Joy-Con Drift, why do you suck so much? <laughs> and of course, we have uh, Luigi and Peach uh, here as well. Um, the reason why I picked Diddy Kong to be my partner in this scenario is... Um, obviously the two best dice blocks are mine and Peach's. I think Wario's dice block is probably a little better than Peach's. Um, but, uh, I kind of feel like... I don't know, I guess Diddy's dice block is pretty good too. Um, it's definitely like a 50-50 for sure, but, uh... Point is, I didn't want to work with Peach, and technically, like... I did play as Luigi, although I did play as Diddy Kong, so it, was, it had to be one of those two. I just went with Diddy Kong because I do like Diddy Kong a, a lot more than Luigi. Oh shoot, I didn't look at the rules. Well, whatever, I can explain everything as we go through here. But yeah, much like uh, the normal board, uh, this board you have to basically do a bunch of island hopping. I wouldn't say it's as pipe dependent in this mode as it was in the uh, normal party mode board. So we shouldn't get stranded for like five turns on like the final island. I hope. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. But thankfully like again since there's it's, since it's more of a grid based system you know it basically comes down to you know just getting either an even number or an odd number to get to the star or get to the pipe or whatever so I think it's a lot easier to island hop in this case. Not to mention, um, the board, I, honestly I think this is the biggest board in the game. Uh, because each of the islands is pretty extensive in terms of the spaces you can move, so... Uh, a lot of spaces you can see here. But, uh, I'll go over all of the... I'll do that right now while I have it. Uh, so yeah, these are, uh, the islands. I'm uh, gonna get some toad tips. Green pipe connects to the present to start island. And the red pipe connects the pineapple to the watermelon island. You can buy some cool stuff at the special shop on Pineapple Island. Top of Watermelon Plateau is just so enticing, isn't it? Ahoy! What's a silver pick doing here? I wonder what it's used for. Okay, so just to briefly uh, cover uh, what's going on here. Nothing much to say about this first island. It's pretty bare. Uh, the Pineapple Island, it has the shop, as it mentioned. You have to land on the space to actually get to it, as well as the pick is here as well. I'll talk about the pick shortly. And going to this island, this island obviously has the uh, uh, event space up here where if you land on it, you can choose a presence. And you can choose between either uh, stealing coins, um, moving to a player, or uh, losing coins. And you can also steal a star uh, as well. Uh, so that's what that one is. And over here on the Watermelon Island, uh, you have this plateau which has a bunch of coins and a star. And this is where you actually need the pick. If you land on one of these spaces with the pick, um, you'll actually create a platform so you can walk up here, get a free star, and get some coins as well. Uh, just be careful. Don't try to do this whenever there are other players around because obviously they can swipe the star from you. Uh, so yeah, just be very careful about that. But that's basically this board in a nutshell. Um, do I really want to use Wario's dice block to start? Um, I don't really want to lose any ground, so I'm going to just use the normal dice block to get started. Now watch Diddy Kong's going to use... Yep, he's going to use his block. <laughs> well, on this case, it's probably good that I'm... Okay, well... Honestly, that's a really good roll. Thank you, Diddy Kong, for uh, playing along here. Um, hold on. Oh, we got the same roll. Well, actually, no, I think Diddy Kong could have actually landed on here. I would have actually preferred for him to land on that. But, since he didn't, that's okay. I'll just, uh... I'll get an item for right now. I kind of wish that Wario would have also made, or Diddy Kong would have also gotten that coin down there. That way we would have been able to take away all their coin opportunities. 
I think that would have actually been really, really handy. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to stay on this island for right now. I think there is a possibility an ally can appear here on the second turn. So that's why it's kind of smart to stay around. Plus, once Diddy gets the star, uh, or someone gets the star, it doesn't have to be Diddy, I guess. Uh, the star could move to a different island and, you know, it could be this island. It could be the present island, which it's the fastest way to get there is the island I'm on. So... You know, just kind of playing the odds, doing what I think would be the best move. So we'll see how that uh, works for us. They're going to get an item as well. They get the freaking gold mushroom, which is annoying that they got the better of the two items. But we did get all the coins, so that's probably the reason why. Okay, Maths of Glory. Once again, we've done this before because we're just waiting on one mini game now for the two versus two category and it's probably one of the more fun uh, two versus two games too one two three one two ah that was a bad roll I got a little annoyed that Diddy got a f one on his dice block oh well we still have time they can easily mess up one two three one, two, three. There we go. A little better that time. That's a lot better for them, though, so we may not end up winning this one. They're going to get rid of a lot of them, and we're pretty much within kill range now. We have to get a really good roll here. One, two, three. Okay, well, that's good, but... We may still win... Diddy has to get at least a two. <laughs> okay, Diddy, don't jump immediately. Oh. Two, three, one, two. There we go. That's all we needed. And it doesn't matter. It's going to end up being a tie because... Zeros all around. If only Diddy didn't get that. Like, even if he got, like, a different number to start with, like... I mean, I guess I still got a 4, so even if he got, like, a 2, it still would have been close. Still, I think the fact that he got a 1 kind of distracted me a little bit. Not that I'm trying to blame him, it's just... It's annoying that he got a 1. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so we're gonna get a Yoshi. That's good. Not the best dice block, but it's something. Let me look at the, uh... Ooh, do I... Honestly, who do I think is going to use that gold mushroom? Because the thing is, they can't afford the star yet, so they wouldn't really have a reason to use a mushroom right now. Uh, but just look at the allies we have. Looks like we have Dry Bones. Dry Bones is here. Up here we have Rosalina. Rosalina would be nice. And up here we have Hammerbro. So yeah, those are the allies we see here. Diddy's gonna get Hammerbro. That shouldn't be an issue. And I might see if I can maybe go over there and chance... We'll see what I get first. I guess that's the best thing to do. I'm not gonna use my dice block since... Uh, I wanna at least get a 2. And I think... Oh, no, I can land on it. Uh, can I land on Yoshi and land on it? I can. And Diddy Kong gets the star, so... Um... Uh, hold on. I think I am gonna go ahead and stay here, though. Just to see, like, where the star goes first. Because here's the thing. If it appears on this island, I can probably get it before they can. Because they don't have the coins for it anyway. This way we at least get an item. And a decent item at that. Okay, good job, Diddy Kong. Doing good, Diddy Kong. Doing good. So that's going to give Diddy Kong a star. He's going to get 10 coins for his efforts. Or, no, he's going to lose 10 coins to get a star for his efforts. Sorry. I can't speak words good sometimes. 
Okay, so good start. We both have allies too, which is perfect. And okay, the star is on Present Island. I do kind of wish I would have moved over there. Because there are actually two star spaces on that island. So chances were actually pretty good, but I think there's like two star spaces on every island, so... That's not really saying too much. We'll see what these guys do. He is using the gold mushroom. Damn, I wish it would have actually done something. Damn, 11, 16. They actually couldn't land on it. <laughs> I hate that they jumped on me, but I'll be able to jump on them. Okay, well, it is what it is. Rattle and hmm. More like rattle and meh, because this game is meh. You've already gone over this. It's the Rumble minigame. First one always is really easy. Bonk. 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 And... Diddy would have picked that before Peach, but at least Luigi could be out of it. Okay, we got the underwater. say that's blooper blooper or the big fish Ooh, it might be the big fish no it's blooper okay that should give me the win yeah because you get five points for yeah so I, I, I can do whatever here this one's really hard It's either Womp or Thwomp. I'm gonna go for Thwomp. Thank you, Diddy. Not that it mattered anyway, but like, yeah, that one's really hard. It's really hard to tell those two. Cause it sounds like they both have like a little residual like vibrations for both of them. And you know, they kind of do the same thing. Like they kind of just fall down. The um, sumo bro just stomps his foot, but it doesn't really have as much of like a quake effect. So that's what it is. So here's where the computer player could potentially. This is why I kind of wish I was on the uh, second island or the pineapple island, because I think Diddy Kong is gonna try to get to the pipe. Because so I think the computer player or the computer AI they prioritize the. Uh, pipes more than anything. And uh, they're going to probably ignore the uh, pick as well as the item shop. I'm surprised he's... Well, okay, if I were Diddy, I would use that. Not going to lie. But again, I'm not on that island. Oh, man, that's such a good roll. He's going to move 18, but I don't know if he's going to go all the way over there. He's going back over here. He's not even landing on it. Let me see what I can do, actually. Hmm. Well, hold on. Can I actually land on this? I can't. Okay, so since I can't land on that, this is going to be maybe a controversial move for me. But I think I'm going to actually go over here and get the stuff I want to get. Because again, you can get some really good items from that uh, item shop. 
And it looks like Diddy Kong is going to be stealing some coins from the uh, 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 the enemy's opponents anyway. Plus we also have that Peepa Bell too. And we get a Dash Mushroom which I can use and use that to my advantage. So, okay, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this outcome. We're just switching. Switching roll. Okay, I get over there immediately, Diddy Kong. Bonk, bonk. And stomp. Boom. Boom. Oh, man. Plus, we pretty much bankrupted them from coins. The only problem is, like, because of their current state where they have, like, the same rolls, if they get an odd number, they're both going to the other pipe. Yeah. So they're just gonna... Yeah, that's unfortunate. So they're gonna get those coins. Could potentially get Rosalina as an ally too. I, I stand by this plan. This plan is usually what me and Bowser Girl do whenever we play this board. We have one player go to the other island and one player stay on the first island and we kind of try to divide and conquer our moves and if we f see a reason to join together we do that. You know, It's about kind of making the best out of your time apart and making the best of your time when you're together too. I don't like that Diddy is doing the tree strategy. Uh, we still won, but I wish the computer player wouldn't do that. <laughs> really wish they wouldn't try to just like it's like oh let's. Let's try to make this a tree. No, we're trying to make it as tall as possible, Diddy. We're not trying to make a tree. Okay. Well, that was a good mini game. We at least won that, and we didn't have to share our victory like we did with the other game we did. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my mushroom. You know what? I'll go. Well, come on, Joy-Con. I'm gonna use this. Hopefully, we don't get messed up here. You know what? I do think that was a good move because they're gonna get those coins. So. Preventing them to getting those, like, basically for every coin they get, they'll lose a coin. So, that's good. I would have not used Diddy's Dice Block there. And that's the reason why. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, Diddy's going to go to that island regardless, so that's good. But, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. That, that's why I wish that I had, like, some kind of control. Oh, wait, no, he can't go there. I can't go over there either. Well, I might as well move. I need to keep moving. Ah, oh, Diddy. Oh, that's unfortunate. At least the Peepa Bell might help. It's not going to be a big movement, though. Well, they lost more coins than what they got, so that's good. But, you know, not going to matter too much. Because they're going to get pity coins, and there's still some other coins on that island, so. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're towing the line. Towing the line. Diddy? What the? Oh. 
don't know what happened on that first one. Diddy was just not having it. Wadio. The W is for Wadio. Finish. Winners. Team Wadio wins. Wadio. I'm not gonna win. Okay. That was a really unfortunate roll that we got. Especially considering, like, they're on that island. But, it is what it is. That's the risk you take with dice blocks. On average, though, Warrior's dice block is still really good. Did he? Okay, well, did he help me there? Okay, so I'm gonna get a 9. That should get me to the item space at the very least. That will get me to the item space. Hey! Unfortunately... <laughs> not going to be able to use it this turn, but at least Diddy's going to be over there. We have a chance to maybe pick up the star. It's a small chance, but it's still a chance. Yes. How, many, how many spaces? They need... Okay, they need... Yes. They'd have to get, like, all four coins that are here. Yes. Which they can, but I don't think... No, they can't do all of that, though. No, they could get that, but we'll see what, how they get here. That's not good because not only will I get those coins, but uh, they have the pity coins, and basically, even though we have the peepa, that's really going to break them even. Diddy, you better get all those coins. <laughs> <laughs> Next turn. Hey, Maps of Glory! Again! We just played this on the first turn, and four turns later, here we are. Start. One, two, three. One, two. Eh, 20's alright. Good start. Better start than the last game. Now we may not be able to get this because it all depends on Diddy. Diddy will have to get a six, basically. Or a five. We got a five. Two, three, one, two, one, two. There we go. Got it. There's no way. Even if they got a perfect 36, there'd be no way. Yeah, we still have most of our building. Good job, Diddy Kong. It's on like Diddy Kong. <laughs>